Hey there everyone, welcome to Embroidery Tutorials. Here we go on circle six of my 90 variation chain stitch sampler. That is six out of seven circles. We are moving into the last 23 of these 90 stitches. So if you've made it this far, massive kudos to you. If you are joining for the first time, there's a whole backlog of video tutorials on every possible variation of the great and lovely chain stitch, one of the basic stitches of hand embroidery. Circle six is an especially fun one with lots more little known stitches sprinkled among a few more common or at least more recognizable ones. So without further ado, let's get going. We are starting out by filling our middle square here with cloud fill stitch, which is also called Mexican stitch sometimes. This is a really fun way to get a woven look, and it can traditionally be done with just little straight stitches, but we're going to be doing it with separated chain loops, essentially lazy daisies. If you're unsure of how to stitch a lazy daisy, I will link that video in the corner. I decided to make this square pretty full, so each one of these dots is a separate lazy daisy stitch. I'm sewing with only two strands of embroidery floss so that it won't end up too chunky. You want to make these lazy daisies pretty small, but they also need to have enough space in the middle to allow two more threads to slide under them. Once you've filled up your whole area with little bitty lazy daisies on every dot, we're going to do the interlacing with another color of floss. And this time I'm using the regular three strands again. Make sure you visualize the zigzag pattern first before you start sewing, so you can make sure you're going in the right direction and coming up in the right spot. In fact, I'm going to start out on the second row rather than starting by filling in the bottom edge, simply because that one won't be fully interlaced and I don't want to confuse myself. I'll be able to make it even and neat better by having the first row here as a guide. So all that being said, I've come up on the side of my square right across from my second row of chain loops. My needle then slides under the first loop, creating this diagonal straight stitch. We aren't going through the fabric at all, just under the loops themselves. Now we go under the first loop in the second row, creating this zigzag before sliding under the first row again and so on to the end. Then it's back down through the fabric on the side of the square. Now I'm going to fill in my bottom edge here, which will only be little triangles going underneath the first row of chain loops and back through the fabric. You could leave this off altogether if you like, but I want my whole square to look filled in. After that, I'm just moving up to the next row and weaving through the chain loops to the end again. You could weave your rows back and forth from right to left and then left to right by skipping the next row and moving to the one after that, then going back down to the previous row and so on. This pattern would just keep you from having to come up in the same place as you went down. Since I don't wanna spin my piece around on camera, I'm just going to go back to the right side of the square and continue interlacing from right to left. Once we get to the top, we can fill in that last row of little triangles to make it look properly full again, if you want, and then we're all done. Trellis, lattice, woven, they get so many different names, but these stitches look so good as background and fill stitches. And cloud fill is super fun because you can use a variety of stitches for those little tacks. So definitely give this one a try. We are coming back next time with another set of lovely chain variants on this circle. So do join me again then. Thanks so much for watching.